Hi, I'm Linda Duncan. I am a member of uh, Canadian Parliament from Alberta and uh, I have been the critic for Environment Transport and now International Assistance. We have had a shift in, in governments in Canada and so we have an increase at least the voicing of support for the Sustainable Development Goals. The problem is uh, most of the financing is shifted into the next election cycle. Um, we've had a new government for three years and there's been a lot of talk. We have a new sustainable development statute, but there is a great deal of confusion because that is under the Environment Ministry with the junior level officer in charge. And yet we have now just established a cabinet level committee. Um, the role of Parliament has come up a lot in this conference. And that's a good learning for me because these are supposed to be reports, national reports, are supposed to be from all Canadians. Um, thus far, um, all the mechanisms are really government driven and there's a cabinet committee. There has been no role of parliamentarians. We do under law require that there be an overall sustainable development strategy for the country and each department and agency are supposed to do their own report feeding in. Those are tabled to parliament. The new legislation requires that those various reports go to the various parliamentary committees for discussion. Um, but we don't really, I don't think we really have yet embraced the fact that Parliament is supposed to be leading this. The Government of Canada have decided that they've chosen what the priority goals are out of the 17. But I think it's really important for us to know, I think it's 169 sub-goals. Uh, I hear that maybe the Netherlands or another country have actually identified icons for each one of those sub-ones. And I think the devil's in the details. Uh, Canada now has adopted a feminist international assistance policy. But, and that's the big focus. But what we have to recognize is our responsibilities are not just to assisting other nations to move towards sustainability. We have a responsibility to be setting the bar higher for Canada. Um, we need to have a real rethink and we need to be hearing the voices of young people because they get it. We've invested billions of dollars in infrastructure that is based on supplying centralized energy from coal-fired power and now maybe gas to provide isolated communities to provide everyone. That is going to be a big challenge. The question is, am I optimistic? I like to say I'm a realist. Um, I'm hopeful. And again, I remain hopeful because the youth have really become empowered. The problem is they aren't given yet the tools to be able to exercise that voice. I think the youth have made that very clear at this conference. I hear it at the climate cops. I hear it in the local government, the national government in Canada. Um, there are a lot of doomsaying, you know, it was too late, you know, we're not going to be able to address climate change. I don't believe that, but I think that what we have to do is we have to have people rising up. We've got the, our biggest challenge is against cynicism. 